Hello and welcome to the video tutorial of the Workspace Guru Windows Virtual Desktop Management Tool. We start by installing the tool. I downloaded the MSI and all I need to do is double click, press yes and that's it. The tool is installed. So now we find the tool in the start menu. Windows Virtual Desktop Management. If I click on the tool it will ask me to uh, elevate. That's okay because I need to install some modules and I click on yes. If it's, this is the very first time you are running the tool, the sign-in screen will come after about a minute because in the time you click to run the application and the sign-in screen appears, it needs to load the correct PowerShell modules onto your computer and it can take about a minute. You also, of course, need an internet connection for this tool. So now I'm going to sign in with my tenant admin from my Windows Virtual Desktop environment. And here I have the tool. First thing you'll see is the tenant you have rights to. So I click on the tenant and now we see the host pools in that tenant. So I got pool 01 and pool 02. This can be of course different in your environment. I click on pool 01 and here I have all the users that are currently signed in. I can see that they're action, uh, active. I can see their session ID, the start time and on which session host they are working. If I click on pool 02, I can also see that there is one user in pool 02 working. Let's go back to pool 01. So here I have the users. If I now select the users, I can click send message and I can send a message to the user. For instance, that the machine will be reboot because of maintenance. So I can send a message like uh, sign out now machine will reboot and OK. The message is sending to the users and it's sent. If I now look at the users, this is one of those users. I can see I got a message. If we take a look at our other users, so here I have uh, the three users who are in pool 1 and here I have the user in pool 2. So I can see all the users in pool 1 got the message because I selected all users. You can also select just one user and send a message. So let's do that. I now select test user 3 and I click send a message. Test message. It will be sent. And here I got the message just to one user. So I click OK. And as you can see, the other users in the pool don't have the message. So what if I want to um, log off a user. I click on test user 03 and press log off. Now the tool will try to log off this user you selected. So I'm going to take a look at the user. I can see it's signing out already. Please wait. So, but I can see the user is still active here. So I can do a refresh. And now I see the user is gone because it is gone. So now let's make one of those other users in the pool disconnect. So I click that. So this user test 02 is disconnected. So if I do a refresh, I can see, yes, test user 2 is disconnected. So you can send a message, you can log off users and you can check if they're active or disconnected and you can see the start time. This you can do with the user management tab. There's also a group management tab. In the group management tab we can select our tenant, our host pools and see what kind of groups are in those uh, the tenant. We got a group called app group 01 and we got desktop application group. If I click on the desktop application group I can see here all these users have rights to the desktop and I can see it has a remote desktop in it. If I click on the application group, I can see there's only one user in it and these applications are in it. So now what I can do is I can create a new application group. For this I will select pool 02 and make a new application group. 
I'm going to call the application group app uh, group 02. And I can now select it and I see that the app group itself is completely empty. So now we need to add some apps and users. So let's start with adding users. I can click on add user and fill in the UPN of a user. And I see the user is in the group. I will add another user. And also that users in the group. Now we need to add some apps. Well, we can do that with this button. Get start menu apps. It will scan the machine that's in the host pool, the start menu to see what apps are installed on that machine. So here I got all the apps that are installed in the machine. I want to publish uh, paint. So I select paint and let's do well, let's do WordPad. So I select WordPad 2 and I click Add to App Group. Now the two applications will be added to the App Group, App Group 02. You can see here they are now in the App Group. If I'm going to take a look at the test user 01 and test user 02, here I have test user 02. If I do a refresh, those new applications will be there for the user to use. Paint and WordPad. You can also remove an application. So if I click on WordPad, remove. Now it's only Paint. So if I do a refresh, I only see Paint. Of course, I can also remove users from a group. So I'm now going to remove this user from the group. So if I do a refresh now, all apps are gone. So that is how you can manage groups and users using the tool. A few things to note. Sometimes the Microsoft tenant doesn't respond really fast with the PowerShell commands. This will, uh, in, this will make the tool hang for a bit. Uh, I hope that Microsoft will make the commands a little bit faster and that the hangs are gone, then the tool will also not hang anymore. So be aware of that. Um, this is also the same if you do the PowerShell commandos uh, right from the command line, you will see that sometimes uh, a, a command is just hanging for a minute and Microsoft tenant is not responding. I cannot do anything about it at this moment, but I think that this will all be solved when the technical preview is over. Another thing to note is the fact that you cannot add users to uh, within the same host pool to a desktop and an application group. So users can either have a desktop or an application. Otherwise you have to make two pools like I just did. So that is it. I hope this will help you during the, the Windows Virtual Desktop technical preview. It's of course really great that Microsoft has this technical preview out there and we can start using it. And with this tool, I hope that your experience is a little bit easier when dealing with user management and group management. Thank you for watching and you can download the tool at workspace-guru.com. Bye.